I'm that lone voice for you. Because it's easier to be comfortable. It's easier to slow down. We have an opportunity right now. We looked at the numbers. We know that the odds are so much better for you, that you're going to do so much more business. The potential for doing business is so much better during this last quarter than it will be at any time during the year. 58 work days. Now, that doesn't mean 58 days straight, because you get 80. There are 80 calendar days from today to the end of the year. And you're only looking at 58 work days. And that includes a few days off for the holidays. So I'll figure it in the deal. So I wrote down here, the starting point for all success is forming a good attitude. Our attitude, <coughs> pardon me, operates like a magnet. We are pulled in the direction of our thoughts, and that thought can be positive or negative. What's going on in your head? See, I bring you these videos. There's been four of them in the last four or five weeks. And they're anywhere from two minutes to, I guess, Bill Porter's is probably 10 or 12 minutes long. Imagine if you set up a system for yourself that every morning when you wake up, you wake up to that. Now, if you woke up to that and it started building in the crescendo every day, every week, every month, now would you throw yourself out of bed in the morning? How do you stay in bed like that? Your spouse will throw you out. <laughs> Think about it. Set this up. See, it's about setting up systems to help create and work with the attitude. I said we form our thoughts and our feelings based on what we tell ourselves. And then we usually act on those thoughts or feelings. So therefore, write this down, self-talk becomes our attitude. How we talk to ourselves becomes our attitude. What are you saying to yourself when you get up in the morning? What are you saying to yourself right now? Think about that. Is it positive and constructive? Or is it negative and destructive? There is business to be done in the next 58 days. All you need to do, you don't need to work harder. You just need to show up. 58 days of showing up. 58 days of showing up for blitzes, for phone blitzes, for door blitzes. We set up the system for you. You don't even have to think about it. What's Monday? Monday's a sales meeting. What do you do after the sales meeting? You go door knocking. You don't want to go door knocking? You sit here and make phone calls. Do you have to pay for the phone? No. This is a no-brainer, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute no-brainer. Tuesday, phone blitz. Irvine, excuse me, Walnut and Covina. It's all set up for you. Show up. We do role play in the morning. We do, we set up the whole environment for you to be a place to be, to be exciting, to be a, around other like-minded people. Remember, we talked about this, 60%, maybe more, of your real estate competitors are starting to stop working as we, every day that goes by in the last quarter. Those are your numbers, not mine. And I think they're actually conservative. Because as the reps go around, the lenders and title reps, etc., go around to the offices as every day goes by, in fact, they stop going to offices, don't you guys? You guys stop going to offices, not because you're lazy. There's nobody there. Why go to an office if there's nobody there? You're working. You're excited, you're out there trying to do stuff, and you walk in and it's like, geez, where is everybody? Huh? Yeah? Right? Yeah, right? Absolutely. You bet. 
and it gets discouraging. So, we become what we think about. Earl, Earl Nightingale says, those six words are the foundation for success. We become what we think about. If you want to build a positive attitude, learn the phrase, do it now, and stop the habit of procrastination. The saddest words in life are, what might have been. I should have, I could have, I wish I had, and oh, if only I had given it a little bit extra. I see this all the time. I see agents who tell me at the end of a given period, and I ask them to do certain things, and they say, well, what if, here's a question. Let me rephrase this a little bit. In January, we do a business planning event, right? Say yes. yes. If we've been doing it in January. We don't do it in December. We don't do it in October. We do it in, in January, about a week before the one-on-one -on -one retreat. Okay? Been doing it for years. We're bringing all together, and we're doing it again this year. Okay? So you can kind of put pencil it in the week before the one-on-one -on -one retreat. In there, we talk about your business plan, and we talk about doing 240 business, uh, 240 work days a year. Okay, I mean between 220 and 240 work days a year, right? Say yes. yes. Come on, yes. everybody, you're kind of looking at me like I'm nuts. I've been telling you, <laughs> work 220 to 240 days a year, and you're going to do just fine. Now. There's 365 days in the year, right? Say yes. yes. Okay. For you analyticals, 366 every four years. I get that. Okay. <laughs> but 365 the way I usually do math. All right? And I'm only asking you, I'm only suggesting to you, I'm only recommending to you that you work, show up, do the activities we're talking about, 240. Here's the what if. Remember? What if? Horrible words. Let's look back to January. What if, to date, you had worked those 200 work days? Because up till now, there's about 200 work days. Okay? 190 work days. What if you had done that so far this year? Would you have done, would you right now have done more business or less? More. Hello? More. Any regrets? Nope. Hey, looking back, were there any days where when you look back at them and you didn't work that day you were supposed to work, was that day such an important day not working? Did it turn out so spectacular for you that it was really worth not working? Like you went out and bought a lottery ticket and you won that lottery that, that you would have didn't matter. But you didn't work. Do you guys get this? Do you get what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's all part of this attitude. Benjamin Franklin said, never leave till tomorrow what you can do today. Goethe. Every Saturday I do a, um, I'm into preventative medicine. Just as a side note, you know, most of us, if something were wrong with you, would spend whatever money necessary to get healthy, right? Okay? God forbid something happened to you and you needed medical attention or you needed cutting edge, what, what, edge whatever, whatever, you know, you would do whatever it takes and whatever it costs, you would work on figuring out how to write that check, right? So, I too feel the same way. And yet, one day, about eight years ago, ten years ago now, I woke up and said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. If I believe that, and I do, why don't I work on myself today in the preventative maintenance side so that I have a little better quality of life? So, I have one of those kind of backs uh, that I've had a couple back surgeries with, and I've had some issues. and. Etc. Etc. And I was always afraid that I would 
end up walking around, you know, here I would I'd make all this money and I would have this great life and I'd be able to retire and I would spend this time with my wife, you know, traveling the world and going on cruises and running around with the kids and seeing all the sights. But because of my back, I would be walking around like this. Okay? That was the thought that was in my head. And that was not a pretty thought. So I have taken it upon myself that every week I spend a couple of hours with the latest guru or chiropractor or whoever I'm working with to make sure I'm in line, I'm doing all the right things. And I'm spending a small fortune on this over time. But it's the best use of the time and money. And in this that I do, I met this man who had this saying on the wall, and this is really what I wanted to share with you right now. Goethe says, this is the saying on his wall, at my voodoo doctor, I guess I call him. <laughs> okay. If I accept you as you are, I will make you worse. However, if I treat you as though you are what you are capable of becoming, I will help you become that. It is my job, it is the job of the coaches, the job of the management team in our firm to help you focus, create the attitude that will help you I'm not talking about the rest of your life. I just want to help you for the next 58 work days. That's it. We'll worry about next year, next year. There are transactions that we can do. I wrote down here, between now and the end of the year, deals will be done. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Deals will be done. I wrote down, listings will be taken. They're going to be taken. Sales will be done. Money will be made. I wrote down, some agents will be doing that. Why not you? Why not you? Why shouldn't it be you to take those listings? Why shouldn't it be you to get those sales? 58 workdays. Your attitude is that you can do business now. You can take listings now. You can take listings that go into escrow and you can close those escrows before the end of the year. It can be done. Absolutely can be done if you, when you, choose to do it. I wrote down here, remember, in the beginning I said our job is to turn over more rocks look for more leads, and do it faster and stay at it longer than your competition. Now let's go out and make this the best week we've ever had. Thank you.